Time now is 5.05 and Coin 6 is your back to school headquarters. Back to school season in high gear right now. And according to the National Retail Federation, this year brings back to class shopping to record levels. Elise Haas is live with more on what you can expect to spend this year. Elise, I'm, I'm scared to even start. <laughs> Jenny, just, just cover your ears because the National Retail Federation came out with its latest survey about back to school spending on all of those supplies. And this is going to be record breaking numbers for all students they found from elementary school all the way up to college. So looking at the elementary through high school age range, uh, families reported that they plan to spend an average of nearly $850 on school items, which is almost $60 more than last year. College students, on the other hand, and their families plan to spend an average of $1,200 on college items. That's up more than $140 from last year. And they say that this increase is mainly due to increased spending in electronics and dorm furnishings. But no matter which way you cut it, both of these age groups are seeing, again, record levels since the National Retail Federation started this whole survey back in 2003 for I guess blanket across the board they're saying that a lot of that spending is up because of electronics and new school clothes because of course I know a lot of people probably didn't get that last year when they were all learning from home but since it is so expensive coming up in the next half hour I have more ways that you can help local kids who can't afford their uh, school supplies I'll have more on how you can help them coming up in 30 minutes reporting live in Portland Lynn Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right. Thanks, Elise. Well, after ousting their district superintendent without cause earlier this